All right. Hi, everybody. I wanted to make this video to kind of talk about my experience with the um, MSF rider safety course. Um, I did an online uh, sort of e-learning um, section. You know, it was about five or six hours, but you could take as long as you want to do it. And then it was supposed to be two days of riding, uh, riding practice to, um, you know, to then when you take the second day, you take the rider court, you the rider evaluation, you know, and if you pass that, then you can get the motorcycle endorsement for your license. I had to drop out of my, uh, I had to drop out of my MSF safety class. And I did that in the name of safety. And before I, before I tell you the rest of this, of the story here, um, you know, you know your limit. What I want to tell you is you know your limits. And you know what you can and can't do. So it is, you know, it is, uh, you know, it's on you. To make sure that you are staying safe no matter what you're doing. That being said, um, I went down to the training area this morning and, uh, you know, filled out some paperwork, did a couple of little last minute checks and tests and stuff. And then uh, I was, you know, myself and all the students went to the area where our two wheel motorcycles were sitting waiting for us. And uh, they had put our names on them, so I thought that was kind of fun. So I went to the bike with my name on it, and, you know, it was a, it was a standard Harley-Davidson uh, Street 500. So, um, you know, they the first exercise, or the first um, less, the first, I think it was, it's either, I forget what they call it, the first exercise, or the first lesson, or the first thing, is familiarizing yourself with all the parts and controls. So, you know... Where's your clutch? Where's your front brake? Where's your throttle? Where's your shifter? Where's your rear brake? You know, just, you know, the, the instructor would call out, you know, okay, everybody touch your, everybody touch your clutch. So let me put your left hand on the left, you know, left handlebar, squeeze your clutch, you know, everybody touch your throttle. Okay. So then you put your palm on your throttle and rotate it a little bit. So, you know, just kind of a, you know, go find this and do this and whatever. But then things got a little sobering. When I say that, it, I mean, what I mean by sobering, it was like, whoa. Um, they had us mount the bikes. So, you know, they say to put, you know, put your, your uh, the forks are going to be turned to the left. So you're going to take your right hand, squeeze your front brake handle, and then swing your leg over the bike, sit down on the bike, turn the, turn the, the handlebar straight, and then kick up the uh, kick up the kickstand with your left foot. Once we were doing that, we were now balancing the bikes on our own. That freaked me out. I'll be honest. Um, one of the other things they said to do was while we had both feet on the ground um, and we had our hands on the handlebars to sway from side to side to feel the weight of the motorcycle. I was not prepared to feel how heavy the bike is. Like, seriously. It was shocking to me. I was like, holy shit, this is heavy. And it made me start, you know, because my anxiety started to have its way with me. And it was like, if you if you fall down, this heavy-ass bike is going to be pinned against your leg. And you're blah, 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 you know. That's the way my mind works. It's something happens and I just start thinking about the worst case scenario. You know, I've gotten better over the years, but you know, anxiety sucks. But anyway, so, um, so I was like, okay, well, you know, I, I kind of got the feel for it. I felt the weight of the bike. Like, okay, no problem. So then this is where stuff started to go downhill. The instructor said, okay, put your left foot up on the peg. So that means I had to use, I was using only my right foot to balance the bike. I put my left foot up on the peg, 
As soon as I did that, I felt the bike start to tip. And I was like, oh, hell no. So I put my foot back down on the ground, steadied it, okay, tried it again. Started to tip, nope. Took me, you know, three or four tries. And then, you know, finally I was able to balance it. But I still felt uneasy. I still felt, you know, like I could tip over at any moment. And I was like squeezing the brake and the clutch, thinking that was going to save my life, even though the engine was off and I wasn't doing anything. Um, so they, you know, then they were saying, okay, well, you know, operate the shift lever, which, you know, for, you know, I'm assuming most of you watching this probably know a thing or two about motorcycles, but if you don't, your left foot's down here and there's this little thing where you put your foot under to shift up or shift down. So, you know, you're, I'm wearing steel toe work boots and I have to, without looking at it, I have to move my foot like this to shift while not looking down. I couldn't help look, but look down. So, and one of the instructors came up to me and saw me struggling and he said, don't look down because that's where you're going to go. <laughs> and I, I said, that's where I feel like I'm going. You know, he's like, he's like, you know, he's like, he was saying, you know, move your foot back a little bit and just focus on the feel of it. And, you know, then I, I finally started to get it and I felt a little better. But then the, then it just got really bad because they, the instructor said, okay, put your left foot down on the ground, put your right foot up on the peg. As soon as I did that, felt the bike start to tip again. I could not, for the life of me, get that balance, all, you know, leaning on my left foot. And one of the instructors came up to me, very, very professional, very discreet, and he said, you know, do you have any balance issues? And I, I looked at him square in the face, and I said, apparently I do. So he said, why don't you hop off the bike and let's chat for a second. I said, okay. So I turned the... Turned the uh, the handle, you know, turn the bars to the left, put the kickstand down, got off the bike, went off to the side to speak to this, uh, speak to the instructor. And he said, how are you feeling right now? I said, honestly, I'm overwhelmed. You know, I said, I, you know, I said, this was a very, and I even said, I said, this was a very sobering experience. And like, I didn't know just how heavy it was going to be and how much I had to do all in the moment. And I looked at him and I said, look, I don't think I can do this. I said, I'm going to tap out because it would be unsafe for me to continue right now. And the first thing the guy does to me, he looks at me and he puts his hand out and I gave him a shake and he kind of like, he did the whole thing where like, you know, you cover your, the hands like as like a sign of endearment or something. And he was like, honestly, that's very good self-assessment. I said, you know, I just kind of nodded. And he said, the fact that you knew this was happening, um, you know, the fact that you could see this and the fact that you you knew to sort of step back and say, hey, look, this something's not right. He said, that takes a lot to say that. And he said, you know, you know, and then he told me, he's like, you know, it'll be, you know, you're a nice guy to be, bum you know, it's a bummer to see you go. But, you know, if you want to try it again in the future, we're here for you. If there's any other questions you have, we're here for you. I just thought that was incredible. Everybody was was super, you know, super supportive and super nice and you know, um, the main instructor had come over to talk to us and I just kind of, when I had said, I'm going to tap out and, uh, you know, I shook both their hands and I just said, you know, thank you so much for everything. And, you know, I hope to, uh, hope to see you in the future. And uh, with that, I walked to my car and I drove away. Now, my initial thought was, yeah, I'm bummed. You know, it, I, I'm, I didn't get to go to ride a motorcycle, but I learned a lot about myself. And that is extremely valuable information. You know, I learned that I have balance issues that I need to work out. You know, um, I did a little bit of research. Apparently, a, a, a number of the mental health medications that I'm on contribute to balance issues. But I know I have some physical issues as well. You know, maybe I need to get in a little bit better shape to be able to handle the bike as well. So, you know, it kind of gave me some motivation to work on myself in that regard. But the biggest thing that I was kind of bummed out about was I, initially, I thought, damn it, now I'm not going to be able to get a bike, and I can't ride, and I can't do all this, and I can't do that, can't do that, can't do that. But one of the things I realized about, like, the motorcycle culture in the community is it's very inclusive, and, like, even on YouTube videos that I was were watching, like, tutor tutorial YouTube videos, they're like, you know, ride within your means, you know, you know, being out on two wheels is great, it's wonderful, blah, blah, blah. So, 
I'm thinking, well, I can't do that, you know, or maybe I can't do that right now. But I was talking to my brother, who was a former motorcycle rider, and he said, you know, and then I was, as I was talking to him, I said, I said, uh, I wonder if there's a trike class because they've got three wheeled motorcycles now, trikes. And he, he's like, you know, I don't think there is. But I said, you know what? If that, if those are available, that's going to be my go-to because I don't think I'm going to cure balance issues overnight or in a month, six months, a year, whatever, you know, cause I'm always going to be on medication to, you know, cause my mental health is important. So, you know, I'm always going to be on medication for that. And I think the balance thing is going to be a problem no matter what. So I'm going to go after a trike and I'm going to do the trike thing. And let me, and what I want to tell you, the reason I wanted to make this video is you are the best gauge of how you feel when you're taking, when, if you're doing the motorcycle test, or, you know, the riding, if you don't feel up to it, if you don't feel comfortable, stop. No one will yell at you. You know, no one will, you know, no one will make fun of you if they do their assholes. But at, from everyone that I've seen, people are as, imp as supportive and wonderful as possible. So if something doesn't feel right to you, you know, they, they said in the, in the beginning of the riding class, you know, they said, if you have a problem, stop where you are or pull out of the lane of traffic and like raise your hand and a, a coach will come up to assist you. you. Don't feel ashamed to admit if this is not your thing or if it's not working for you, because that, that was really the reason I took the class because I've seen so many motorcycles on, on the road you know, you see them in movies, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator 2, you know, spin cocking the shotgun while driving, while riding a motorcycle. Like, how cool is that? Wouldn't you love to do that? You know, and, and as after I turned 40, I, I started thinking that I really want to start trying things I've never done before so that I can really enjoy life and live life, you know. And motorcycles was something that, you know, it was it was on the list, you know, like, shoot a gun was, was on my list also, but you know, when I moved to Texas, I was like, well, I can cross that one off here. Cause you know, Texas is one of the, one of the best gun States, uh, in the, in the country. But anyway, not to get too off topic. Um, so I, I dropped out of the class and I emailed the guy that, uh, from the local Harley dealership that runs the class. And I said, you know, I told him the situation and I said, if there's a trike class, I would love to be, to go do that. And his response to me, he goes, there is a trike class. I'll call you next week with information. I was like, this is fantastic. If it means I have to do another online e-learning thing, I will do it. No problem. You know, even if it's going to be a lot of the same info, I will do it. Because I feel confident that, you know, and, and every every video that I've seen reinforces this confidence I have. But, like, it takes the balance out of out of it. And it means I can sit there with my hands on the bars, my feet on the things, you know, I know where the controls are and I can just ride and I don't have to freak out about balancing and all that stuff. All of the other dangers and, and you know, uh, all of the other situational awareness and everything like that from the training of riding a two wheel bike is that's all still there. But I don't have to worry about balance. And I think that would take a lot of stress off my plate and I think it'll help me really enjoy it. So. You know, that's, that's, that's what I'm going to do. And, you know, maybe I'll make a, a video series about it, but I'm not giving up on motorcycling. I'm going to do it in some way, some way, shape or form, you know, maybe for, for now it'll be on three wheels. Maybe someday I'll get the two wheels, but you know what? Three wheels is cool with me. So if you want, it made it to the end of this video. Thank you for. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. And, uh, you know, my, my channel is, I, I can't, I don't have a single theme to my channel. It's just me and showing stuff I like and whatever. So if you like that sort of thing, a hodgepodge, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see whenever I post new stuff. Um, you know, but even if you're not a subscriber or you stumbled on the video, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you subscribe, thank you for that. And either way, I will see you guys on another video where I talk about or do something else. <laughs>